Hey everybody, Gerard Harris coming to you again from my living room. Wish we could be playing together on the stage of the Jazz Showcase, but in due time, our time is coming. Today, I wanted to talk to you all about one of the most important things, not only in jazz music, but in your life. And that's going to be relationships with other people. We have to think about, as our life progresses, how do we get to the point of where we are, where we want to be? Or how do we have a goal? How do we achieve it? You know, we can do things by ourselves, but we also need other people to play a part or to help in that. And the only way we can get these people to help or play a part is by forming some kind of relationship with others. So part of the essence of the jam session is what we call the hang. And the hang involves not playing, but meeting and getting to know other people that are interested in doing the same thing as you. And one of the things that I always say at the end of the jam session is make sure if there's somebody that's played up here on the stage today that you have never heard or don't know, make it a point to meet them. Because the wider your network of friends is, the more opportunities you'll have to play and do other things in the future. So when you think about this great musical future you want to have, whether it be performing or whether you're just even enjoying it, you know, as a listener. You know, the more people you know about to go here, the more enjoyment from listening you'll be able to get. The more people you know, the more people you have the ability to play with. And I think that is very, very, very important. Lots of times we, you know, I was a shy guy as a, as a younger person, but other people were doing stuff I wanted to do. And I wanted to kind of know how they did the things that they did and who do they listen to. And part of building up my musical uh vocabulary uh i guess you could say kind of my reputation is just kind of you know by meeting other people and if other people know you maybe they'll pass your name on to other people and so what we wind up doing is keep expanding our networks and so networking is very very important you probably do it in a number of ways that you don't even think about you know in this day of social media and particularly right now in this day and age with this pandemic going on. Lots of people can't necessarily see each other, but they're using social media to get out what they're doing musically, but to also hear, because lots of people can't play concerts and whatnot now, and so what they're doing is they're putting their music online. So you can watch people play online. You can hear the music that people have made because they made it available online now. And so that's that kind of networking in the hang that happens. And so you don't want to just be a passive watcher of what's going on. You want to participate. Doesn't mean you have to record yourself practicing and upload videos and whatnot, but even if you hear someone playing and you like what they're doing, you can just comment and say, hey, I saw your performance on Instagram today and I really dug it. What song was that that you played? And therefore, you're expanding your network and your network is going to be very, very important. Always saying this at the jam sessions because what I always want to see is everybody getting to know one another. That's why I always say things again like, man, you all should probably create a list and just write your email addresses down on it and everybody, you know, can get in contact with each other. Somebody gets responsible for it and make sure that everybody gets a copy of it. You know, so therefore, we have outlets to meet new folks. And when you think about your future, whether you're going to be a performer or a listener again, you have to think that who are you really going to be performing with? You know, not to say that it'll never happen, but you could be performing with me, but it's more likely that you'll probably be performing with someone who is in your peer group. And so therefore, if you don't talk to people or know people in your peer group, that just cuts down on the opportunities that you have to play. And those people will probably have a lot in common with you lifestyle wise and interest and taste in music wise also. So making sure that you meet people in your peer group. Even if uh, you find that, oh, well, maybe you might be the best person at a particular jam session. That doesn't mean that you don't have something to offer those other people who are there participating. They probably want to talk to you too. So in order to do that, you got to reach down, reach out, reach up, you know, to different folks to expand your networks. And you're never going to be too good to talk to somebody are too good to learn something from somebody or too good 
to even realize that you're giving something to somebody else. So make sure that we're all participating in the hang. The jam session is one place. Your school band. If you're in band at school and you don't know everybody in the band, you should. Because again, they're going to be the people who you play with every day and they're going to be interested in doing the same things. And you might see that there's different things that different people do and everybody has something to offer and we can all give something to others and we can also all learn from others. So be it school, be it the jam session, hopefully you'll look and find out about other jam sessions that go on in our wonderful city. Or if you want to just meet up with these new friends you're going to make and say, hey, right now we got to do the social distancing thing, but you all can try to get on and do a Zoom, you know, jam session if you want. You know, there's all kinds of things to try. And the more things you try, the merrier it shall all be. So make sure you all are meeting and greeting and hanging. One more important group for people to meet is the people who aren't necessarily up there playing, but the people who are sitting in the audience listening. Because you got to think years from now, too, when you want to be playing concerts and you want to be performing for people, you're going to need somebody in the audience. So you don't want to just have all of your musician friends who you've been socializing with and hanging with, but you also want to talk to the people that just like to come and listen to the music, too. So everybody has a symbiotic role in this world of playing music. Make the most of it and make sure you get out and talk to some people. Break that shy barrier like I did. All right, hopefully we'll be playing again soon. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thanks so much to the Jazz Institute of Chicago for making it possible for us to be able to talk to you guys online. Keep track of us. Keep up with the things that the Jazz Institute of Chicago is going to be doing. Also take this time, I know I'm rambling now, to listen to music. Man, I cannot say in the past 25 years I ever have I ever had this much time to enrich myself from listening to music, reading books, and connecting with other people. You know, people that I really might not talk to on a regular basis, now, man, I feel the real need to connect with people. And I think that's a humankind thing that we want to, we're social beings, so we want to connect. And this has been not a wasted opportunity looking back for myself, that is, you know, to say that I've listened to a ton of music, I've reconnected with people, and I've read a lot of great books. So make sure you all make the most of this. Let's not be looking back on this period, this brief period in our lives as being tragic, but let's look at it and say, man, I became 20 times smarter from the things I experienced while I was at home or while I was socially distancing, you know, got a lot of time to do other stuff and still make those things happen. All right, take it easy, folks. I'll see you soon.